city, and I mean it. Here we go. We got fam over what here. What's up, Mo? What up, Daniel? I'm good, brother. How are you, man? Man, I am good. I'm wonderful, and I can't complain, man. You know, it's just things been put in my heart to do a lot lately, you know, because we are all that voice. Every single one of us has are that voice. No, I completely agree with you, man. There is, as as a Christian first, there is spirits and, pe- and principalities that are out to attack us in many ways. Um, yeah. But most of all, I think that there are people um, that want to do harm to each and yeah. every one of us. Mm-hmm. And and it doesn't matter if you're on the left or the right. And if they don't see that kind of evil, it just kind of, it's sad, you know? Yeah. It's, it's sad. It's, it's, real sad. it's real sad, you know? It's, yeah, it's, it's not about the left or the right, you know what I'm saying? It's about, according to the way you act, it's about how their personalities are, you know? And, and, and we, we, we got to, you know what I'm saying? That's why we can't afford to all lose focus. You dig? So once we lose focus, we lose focus, you know what I'm saying? So we cannot allow ourselves to get off focus, you know? That means even bittering, bickering with each one of us, you know, we cannot lose the focus. We cannot, you know, and that's yeah. what I'm at, not losing the focus. Oh, yeah, no, for sure, man. It's one of those things, dude. It's I've, I've been writing a lot of blog posts lately, and, you know, I think one of my main things is it's especially as a conservative and with the whole Trump movement, it's it it is literally the people rebelling against the system and the system of oppression, the system of inequality, the system yeah. of that. The best way I can put it is it's 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 the people taking back what they believe was theirs from the beginning. Yes, you know, as as. As a Puerto Rican, as a Latino, it's like, how am I supposed to just fall in line with talking points of things I don't practice at home? Yeah. You know, we, we start off we start off by saying simple, you know, you being from Puerto Rico and any any Latino out there throw a thumbs up out there, show some most some love. But at the end of the day, it's we're we're taught from an early age, hey, um, be be frugal at home. Treat your family in a conservative way. Live a conservative lifestyle. But in the yes. voting, you better, you better, um, you better vote to for progression. You better vote for for the left. You better vote for that Democratic uh, senator that that says he's going to bring more people to to and bring more help towards you. Um, but in reality, that's not how it goes. I mean, you, right. you go to, you go to cities like Miami, which that's my where I'm from. And all you see is is negativity, poorness, um, poverty, and mm-hmm. people and people that just sell out. You know, they sell out what they do out. They sell out what they believe at home. They go every Sunday to church and they sell out in the voting booth. Yes. They sell out in the voting booth, man. It's it's sad. It's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> You know, don't know what they do behind closed doors, you know. You know. What their mindset is, it's like like ooh. That that that's why we gotta we gotta be examples. We gotta we gotta do that, man. It's up to us. Well man, I, I don't know. If it's okay with you, I just wanna, you know, try to plug this in and it's it, it's reasons why people like you and me just decided to start writing, start start posting on Facebook, start start fighting back against the system because we know that the mainstream media ain't going to do it. Mm -hmm. We know that, you know, the politicians ain't going to do it. We know that our local representatives aren't going to do it. So if, you know, second amendment says, you know, we have the right to bear arms to form militias. Mm -hmm. We have the right, we, you know, we have modern technology so we can form a virtual militia. Yeah. You know, stand up, fight for what we believe in, fight for the good things that that the Lord has gave us and move forward, you know, despite of every little thing that that might come against us, no matter what names we're called, no matter what legislation comes by, we still have the right to vote against it. And we have to fight for those rights. Right. Okay, she said they vote Democrat out of fear. 
the truth is 99% of Latinos are very conservative people. This is 100% true. I'm telling you. Yeah. Latinos in this country are afraid. They, they, they come to this country out of promise of an opportunity, you know, given mm -hmm. by both sides. By both sides, yeah. not, not just Republican or Democrat. Both sides give them a promise of an opportunity, while the left is, is sell, sells free things, yet the right still says our opportunity. Yeah. The left has convinced the Latino people that we're going to give you a, a free immigration or f and yeah. benefits to the government. They're, you know, right. and, and in fact, that's not how it goes. You talk to anybody from South America or even overseas, it takes a minimum of 10 years to become, to become a, a citizen in this country, permanent residency, and, and it hasn't become easier. There yeah. are laws that need to be reformed. But more than anything, you know, the Latino people ha can't be afraid to vote what they feel. And they're afraid to vote those things. I have no idea why, but people like me are coming out the woodwork. You know, there are people coming out of the media saying, hey, we are Latinos for this conservative movement. The Latino yeah. for Trump movement was ridiculous. I never thought I would see that in my life. Last time you saw a Latino vote Republican was for George Bush. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of them, man. I've seen at rallies. Latin, yeah, man, it was like, wow. Latinos for Trump's in a lot of them. You know? Because yeah. the ones that do that do have the, the courage, you know, Dennis Prager says, you know, you can have all the, all the good intentions, but if you have no courage, what's the point? The ones who have the courage to come out and speak out and say, hey, we, we, want, we came to this country for the promise that you yeah. see in the Constitution. We're not just going to let that pass. Mm -hmm. So we fight for what the Constitution says. Yeah. You know, we fight for the opportunity, the pursuit of happiness. You know, mm -hmm. we know it's not guaranteed, but we fight for that opportunity because we know all, yeah. all it takes is one chance. Right. One chance to, to make your family wealthy for life. One chance to be happy. One chance mm -hmm. to, to truly pursue the things you couldn't do where you come from. So what do you think they're scared of? Why they won't? Why, why they keep it in the closet? Why they keep it's, it in the closet? You know, what, what do you think they? Your, your your opinion? What they scared of? They they're scared of being ridiculed. I mean, Latino. You know. Yeah. Latino communities are very very tight knit, right? And and it's mm -hmm. kind of like like one of those things, you know, where one where the major voice kind of dictates how everybody else thinks. And there, there is a lot of opposition. And and here's, here's the thing. Traditionally, especially in South American countries, they're used to that style of, you know, progressive communist style rule. Mm -hmm. They're used to that powerful leader telling them what to do and how to think. And okay. they escape that. They escape that knowing they're going to have a chance to think for themselves. But yeah. they come to to find out that even though they don't have an oligarch or some sort of main power to look up to, there's this entity, you know, the government, that still dictates how they think and how they react. And it's simple yeah. as to say, hey, they're, you know, best, best point I could put, I use, my, I use my, my home state of Florida as an example. You know, it is probably the biggest swing state. And if you can gather the Hispanic vote, it'll tilt the state one way or the other, but you, you, it's, let me find the right words, it's, they, they're scared of, of being ridiculed by their own people, because it's hard enough to come to this country, no matter where you're from, to, to learn the language, to be accepted, yeah. to, you know, all of a sudden, I finally made it through my 10 years of uh, permanent residency, I got my citizenship, now that I have the chance to make move my family beyond minimum wage and beyond yeah. all these things that make something out of myself, all of a sudden, you know, I ha there's an election and this guy's making things easier for my family to get here. I mean, yeah. I understand it. You know, all of a sudden there, you know, people saying, oh, uh, amnesty. They're talking about making things easier for for people to come here, and I understand it, but I don't get the fear of saying, hey, hmm. it isn't, it, they're, they're empty promises. They promise, they promise, they promise, next thing you know, they always pull the rug from under us. 
Yeah. And every time, both sides, they say, hey, we're going to make things easier for the Latinos. We're going to fight for your rights. We're going to fight for your rights. And every time, they pull the rug. And, yeah. and, it's, and it's tiring. And, it, and it's tiring, especially in, in, in a time such as this where so much activism, so much so much political pride on both sides, you know, and, and it's time for not only the Latino, but the minority groups in general to say, it's like, we're sick and tired of being a punk in the chess game of the political game for the elites, but let's take, take, take life by, you know, by the horns and do something of it for ourselves. We're going to elect to the people who we think represent our values. the yeah. right And that's what characterized the Trump, the Trump overwhelming win. And honestly, you can you can criticize a guy every day. But mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you look at the stuff that's actually being done. Done. It's more positive for the American people yep. in general than if the opponent would have won. And I don't want to call out any names, but we all know what's her name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, this, this dude is doing everything that he said he's going to do. He he gets on it, you know. Whenever he say he's gonna do it, he gonna get right up on the job, you know. You got a lot of these politicians; they get on it. They they say what they want to, what they're gonna do, right? But they'll like try to prolong it for a while, like, oh, I do it this, I do it next week, and and they don't jump on it right away. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This man we got right here, he jumps on it right away. He'd be like, hey man, I'm on it right now. You know what I'm saying? And then, look, next thing you know, a day later, you see something like, whoa, dude didn't even waste no time. You know what I'm saying? Cause he's cause he's a businessman. He know how to get things done when you're a businessman. You dig? Hey, Kathy, you know how to get things done very fast. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what he does. He know how to do everything done. He know how to get things done very fast. A lot of these presidents, the, the past one, they were very like slow, like this. You know, the, hi, Kathy. Um, what what and I think what we have to understand too, you know, especially as we we become more politically aware and as the masses become more politically aware is that the system is meant to go in a crawl. You know, they're meant to go slow. That's how it was written, you know. Um, what Trump, I think Michael Moore said it best. He's the Molotov cocktail to the system, right? He's he's mm-hmm. the shot to, to the political system that we've been <laughs> wanting Yeah. for years. We're, we're, we've been asking people, it's like, we want somebody different. We don't want just another Washington D.C. politician regular, but mm-hmm. but I'll tell you this: Trump has to be very, very careful because even though we applaud his his you know raw style, his, yeah, his, his his he says the things that we're thinking. He says, mm-hmm. excuse me, some some things that don't exact that that politicians would never say. Right. You know, so they, they, they have it in their head, but they won't say it. Exactly. He needs <laughs> to be careful because if he doesn't play his cards right as far as policy, he can have the best economy by the time 2020 comes around. But if he doesn't pull together not only his base, but the conservatives in general, those never Trumpers that criticize him, which I think they're sometimes are duly good, they're good criticisms. And other in other ways are not good criticisms. Mm-hmm. Then he needs to pull those together and really lead, because there are times where he does go off message, and he there are times where he he does say the things we want him to say, but there are times where like, bro, like stop saying those things and just do. You did so good the first hundred days. Don't lose focus. Stay right. grind it out. You know. Don't don't let the left catch you. Don't let don't let these this media establishment catch you. Just yeah, work. Just just do what you've been doing for the last forty years in in the private sector. Just work. Mm-hmm. Appoint the people. Don't worry about yep. what they say. Don't respond. Mm-hmm. Just get to work because at the end of the day, the more he gets done, and yes. the more money he puts into people's pockets, and the more you have a secure job, and the more you make it at the end of the day. 2020 comes around, it's a landslide victory for Tom, Donald Trump. But, right. in the flip side, if he doesn't stay focused, and he, he can have the best economy in the last 300 years, he can have the best approval rating in the last 300 years, if he's not a careful, 
and not staying focused and and truly staying focused not not letting this this social media versus fake news get to him he he's gonna he he he's, this country will turn on him quickly and 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 he needs to understand that this is not you know our grandfather's government where we got in our news weekly this is on a second by second basis we know what's going on in the white house you yeah. know with things he needs to be he needs to lead in a very 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 convincing way and right. lead from the front he can't just keep hiring people he needs to be like okay look the buck starts stops with me i'm not laying blame i'm i'm taking this is what's going on. Let the let the investigators investigate. We're gonna get work done for them for the people. That's what mm-hmm. he needs to do. Like every promise, I'm telling you, if he doesn't fulfill the promises he did he he did during the campaign, people will remember in the voting booth. And I'm afraid that a man who I believe is appointed by God to be president at times such as this will lose out because he didn't stay focused. Yeah. You got to stay focused, man. Anybody can get distracted. You know, it's, that's why we got to continue to stay focused too. It's not just our president staying focused. We all got to stay focused too. Oh, yeah. You know, he got, he got a job over here, and we got our job over here. You oh, know, yeah. it it ain't just the president to stay focused. It's all of us to stay focused. You know, like I, I always I always preach this. I always say this. I said this. Everyone have ever had their part. I said Trump doing his thing. Let's do it over here. We all are part of this, you know. While he over there negotiating, doing things, you know what I'm saying? That that he trying to do, you know. You know, we got to do what we need to be trying to do. We we, we got to do what we need to do over here, you know. We can't we can't lose focus. We can we we can't fall into other people's trap either, you know. We got to know how to play play our cards right too. You know, like the song says, if you play your cards right, everything going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? So we got oh, to make sure that everything will be all right. Like Trump got to make sure everything got to be all right over here. You got to make sure that things going to be all right. I got to make sure things going to be all right. That cat over here, she got to make sure things going to be all right. <laughs> oh, for sure. I mean, we got to, more than anything, I think, I think this is something for all, for all conservatives and anybody who considers themselves a patriot. Um, we gotta, like you said, stay focused. Yeah. You have to, if you can. I mean, not everybody can, but put your dollars where they matter. You know, talk yeah. to your local people. Talk, talk to your mm-hmm. movements, your your people locally that that do influence. You know, you know, by by doing stuff like this, how many people yeah. are we are we influencing right now? You know, right. you know, we need to keep doing things like this every day. Um, and every chance that we get, because if we don't talk the truth about what's going on in this country, we're going to end up like Europe, you know, open borders, open, open societies where we see what's going on out across the pond. They're, they're burning and, and they're asking for help, yet their leadership doesn't have the wisdom to nip the stuff in the butt out of political correctness. And mm-hmm. it's, it's tough to see yeah but it's it's something that's been in the works for over 20 years policies policies write themselves after i you know they take over when it becomes mm-hmm. part of the culture how, how hard is it to change culture i mm-hmm. mean it, it, it's tough now i mean look at you you're, you're you are the exception to most african americans that i know you know you are the exception how many of your brothers and sisters do you talk to on a day to day basis and they call you crazy for for supporting Ooh. Donald Trump? Ooh we I'm the talk on my mom's side of the family, I'm the talk of the whole side of the family. I have lost my mind. I forgot how to be black. I'm a self hate Negro. <laughs> yet yet let, let let's talk facts here, right? Let's talk facts. Let's talk hey, facts. Anna. Yeah. Let, let, let's talk facts, right? In the United States of America, there are more rights for the black man and Hispanic man than there are for the white man. Hey, Jody. Yeah. And and, and, and and just look at the getting into a young millennial going into college today, as if he's starting this fall. It is easier for minorities to get 
into college due to lower test scores and affirmative action. It is mm -hmm. easier for them to get grants and <clears throat> and scholarships to go yeah. into school. So you know, they're they're getting free money to get into college and into major universities so they can get yeah. indoctrinated and teach their children the the leftist side of the political spectrum, yet there's nothing for the, for the opposite. Yeah. You know, all these state-funded schools like, you know, Florida State, UTEP, you can name them all. You know, it doesn't matter. State-funded schools in every state, they're all left-leaning in a very, very radical way. Just yeah. look at what's happened to Ben Shapiro, Milo Yiannopoulos, and mm -hmm. Coulter. All these conservative talk um, made major speakers that go to, to to universities, they either get rioted out the door, they get um, pushed pushed back, or completely banned from the schools. When isn't college supposed to be the site of true free speech? I mean, we we send we send our children to go get educated, yet all of a sudden they're being told, no, you can't think outside the box. You have to tell you have to think within this communist box, and if you think outside this communist box. We're going to uh -huh. out of school. Right. It's, 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 it's ridiculous what's happening. I'm 26 yeah. years old, and when I, see, when I see a lot of my, the people I went to school with coming out, you know, being so-called social justice warriors, okay. I, I, somehow, I somehow wonder, it's like, what is this bubble that college turned you into? College is supposed to open your mind, not close it. Right. And <laughs> Ooh, you hit that. You nailed that, bro. <laughs> you know, how how is it that you can't just think of people as people? You have to label them in some sort of class. Lower class, higher class, middle class, all yeah, of yeah. And then it's, it doesn't stop there. White, black, Hispanic, Indian, and right. other. You know, what happens to just being people and voting people? Mm -hmm. We can disagree on everything. Yeah. Right? We can disagree on everything we politically. We can disagree on whatever you want, but what happens mm -hmm. about respecting the other point of view? What happened to yep. bringing people to the dialogue? That doesn't exist anymore. And 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 honestly, I I wish people would would come would become more more aware of what's happening. And I think that they slowly are. But it it sucks to see, man. It really does, cause cause it, it's it's disheartening because I'm still a young man and I'm looking at another 40 years of political rhetoric coming my way yeah. and I don't see it getting any better. You don't see it getting any better? Not yet. I mean, as far as the, the younger generation, they're so indoctrinized and brainwashed. You know, I, 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 can, I can hear you on that with the, the younger generation, you know. Sometimes a lot of times I'm looking like whoa, because the younger generation they just like wow, it's only this much of the younger generation. I probably only seen about one or two young, young, young ones like us, you know. And it's like man, no, this one they, guy at my job, he he's 22 years old, and I he's the only one that I really know that's young. Yeah, and then it's they're so brainwashed to think you know that that they're victims and they're not. I mean, yeah. When you're so blessed to grow up in a to, to grow up in a place like this, it's it's you have every opportunity at your fingertips, yet you yeah. want to blame others for your failure. You know, you have to kind of there has to be a culture. We have to reinstill a culture of 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 self awareness and of take taking responsibility. You know that you yeah. are gonna fail in life. But that doesn't mean it's the end. It doesn't mean it's your last chance. It just means you failed at that one attempt. You learn and you move on. Yes. And and, and it's one of those things, man, where as as these young kids keep coming out of college, it gets worse. I mean, you see these Antifa kids, they don't know what they're talking about. Oh man, please don't get me started. <laughs> on them. <laughs> no, no, but, oh, but, but, woo! Besides the political, besides the, the political points, you know, because you can argue political points all day. And yeah. When they try to make political points in a very rational way, they have no idea what they're talking about. No, no idea. They have no idea what this country has been through, you know, from its inception. 
they don't want to realize that this country is just a microcosm of what's happening here. This, mm -hmm. There's political powers going on in this country that's outside influences. And, and yeah. I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but it's true. Mm -hmm. When you have foreign money being pumped into our political systems, not only through, through media ads and, and Facebook and Twitter and all that other stuff, but there's stuff, there's, there's information campaigns being thrusted at you on a daily basis. Yeah. I mean, open up your Facebook and just scroll. Don't even comment. Scroll. Mm -hmm. There's more yep. memes making fun of a modern-day president and, and, the, and the conservative party than there is the other way around. Right. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a disinformation campaign against RC. the conservative movement, against, against everything that any patriot, any any just rational thinking person can can put up can can right. think of it, it's it's a disinformation campaign it's simple mm -hmm. oh man it's, oh we got to you know yeah we it's it's a lot of work to do it's a lot of work to do but these these young oh man i i tried talking to them I tried at a rally. I tried talking to them, and they just they just come with the stupidest stuff to say. They, they they'll say like, "Oh, we all are transgenders. Everybody is transgenders." And looking like they just come out of nowhere. That wasn't even a topic. That wasn't even a conversation. But yeah. they just up and up and just you know it's just like like really not only you don't know nothing about politics or nothing, but you don't know nothing. Period. These oh, people yeah, just I'm brainwashed. Paid yeah, to like, just say a few stuff. One hundred percent, they're brainwashed. They, they like I said, there's been a, a disinformation campaign going on for years. Just look at Hollywood. I mean, we we sit here and we can point fingers, but at the end of the day, there are tools to fight against this. There are tools. There are people like you. You're you're one of those tools. People like myself it, that man. you know. You know, people like myself, I write a conservative blog, and um, I'm, I'm launching my own show here in a few weeks. But at the end of the day, it's we need we need to continue to fight, and, and not with disinformation, but with the truth. Let the people decide. People are going to decide, make up their own opinions, but we still need to get the truth out there. Because truth, like Ben Shapiro mm -hmm. says, facts don't care about your feelings. And... And you just need to continue to throw out facts out there, throw it out with with truth, because you know, I, I like the Bible says, you know, where there is where there is light, there is no darkness. You have to bring mm -hmm. those things out into the light and let to the them, light. let them be seen. And yeah. we need to just you know, we are the salt of the world, we are the light of the world. We need to be that beacon. Yeah. That's simple. I mean, it's okay to disagree. It's okay to. Yeah, to have the dialogue, but we need to get people to come out and say, "Hey, I can disagree with you politically, but I mm -hmm. can't disagree with you as far as this open talk, open dialogue that should be had." And right now, it isn't happening. All you hear is just attacks. You don't hear people coming out with good, honest responses. They just come out saying, "Hey, well, you're a xenophobe. You're a." Yeah, you're homophobe. You're this. You're like, dude, that's calling me names. That's not telling me why I'm wrong. Tell right. me why I'm wrong. Give me an example, and we take it from there. They kill me with the labels, man. The labels they like to put. They like to use these 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 names. You know, like 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 the folded names. You dig? You know, saying I argue. You know, saying I was debating with. You know, what I'm saying with someone that was gay, and I said something about transgender, and I said they said, oh, you trying? Oh, you want to tell me I'm a homophobic? No, I'm not saying you're homophobic. You're agenda phobic. I'm like, this is they want to steady throw the titles. <laughs> you know? It's but they it's, can bully they, us. They, they they come up with words that don't exist, um, that become part of the urban dictionary. Um, and honestly, yeah. they they have they have no true basis to their to their arguments. Because mm -hmm. they call us the fascists, yet they're the ones acting like fascists. Right. You know, they talk about themselves. That's what I always you, say. You know, 
you know, don't get me wrong. There's been a lot of bad people on the conservative side, and of course, you know, and, 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 but that's just being honest. You know, there's been people who's like, dude, that's not a guy we stand with. You know, he might say some good things, but really, the rest of the rap is not good. You know, but at the end of the day, we need to still come together, and and as patriots, let let you and, and like to say, it isn't liberals that we're fighting against; it's the left. Because Duh. liberal in the traditional sense of the form is to have a free thought, to, to bring people and be inclusive, not exclusive like the left wants us to be. They want us to all be bundled into groups, to stay together, to resegregate this country. When so they're not standing on, on that name, huh? They're not standing on that name liberal. So that's they're what you're not calling standing them. On, you know, I can see your point on that. They're not standing into what traditional liberalism means. Liberalism is to include, to make things free thought, and they don't it's, think that way. It's like we got to think conservative, think. and a lot of us don't think conservative. No. You know, that I've seen. No. I've, you I know, mean, and call it how it's here. There's people in the office don't think conservative. <laughs> no, I mean, how can I put it? Best example I throw people when when we're talking politics and when we're talking, you know, ideologies, I'm like, I asked them one simple question. If JFK were alive today, would he be a Republican or a Democrat? <laughs> and and people in the chat, be be happy. Give me your opinion. And and I'm gonna tell you this right now, if he was alive in twenty seventeen, he'd be a Republican. He'd be a Republican mm -hmm. Because he stood for secure borders. He stood for a sovereign nation. He stood for people's yeah. rights. He was an avid hunter. He was a gun enthusiast. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, he was a womanizer, but the man wasn't perfect. <laughs> so at the end of the day, you look at you look at those political figures that they stand for and you look at what and you look at the political landscape of today and they don't they, they truly don't identify. They identify yeah. with Mao Zedong. They identify with Kim Jong un. They identify with with Stalin, with Vladimir Lenin. They identify with all these communist idols because they believe there's a such thing as this communist utopia on the left. They think they're bringing it to this country when in fact that we're very close to that in a, in a, in a, when you, when you read the laws, we're very close, but we mm -hmm. will never get there because of people like you, because of people like Sean Hannity, people like, uh, Dennis Prager, people like uh, all these radio talk show personalities on the on the right, we'll never let it get there. We'll, we'll right. do what we have to. There are countless, you know, military veterans that are extremely conservative, and if even if they're not, they know mm. what true communism looks like, and they won't right. let it get there. Mm -hmm. They won't. There, there is a militia out there just waiting, just waiting to be awoken. They haven't. They, they they saw what it can happen when you when you wake up the silent majority. You what happen, yeah. You see what, you see what happens when the silent majority picks up a gun. And if the left continues to attack, they continue to threaten. They continue to do these things. Mm -hmm. We this this unspoken civil war that Dennis Prager writes about on a regular basis will happen. Will become very bloody and very quick. And I don't know if this country can survive a civil war like that. I really don't. Ooh. Hey, that's honesty for you right there. <laughs> and yes. and we, we have to we have to be vigilant. We have to continue to fight with information, with fight with facts and, and to continue to to just empower people around us to, to think for themselves, you know. Yeah. There's so there's so many tools out there. If you have a phone, there's no excuse. Yeah. And and again, Mo, I have a beautiful wife waiting for me. I appreciate this talk. Uh, but more than anything, I thank you for doing what you do coming up. On hey, Facebook anytime, Live. brother. Anytime. Anytime. Hit me up anytime. And I you appreciate do. you thank sharing your thoughts. No, for sure, man. Thank you for what you do. Continue what you're doing. When my All show right. launches in, in September, I want you to come on. And, and have this conversation one more time with me. 
Um, Appreciate it, man. And if it's okay with you, I want to plug. I want to plug my uh, my Facebook page at the Conservative Rican Poppy, the Conservative okay. Poppy. Uh, follow me. Uh, my name is Daniel Gonzalez, and there's a lot of big things coming. More conservative. All right, I'll, I'll share it on my on my public figure page. I'll share it on my page. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Um, yeah, and again, we, if you want to, you. and one more thing, if you want to read my blog, uh, americantruthseekers.com, and uh, I'm posting on a regular basis. All right. Okay, my brother. All right, man. All right. Much love. All right. right, God bless. God bless.